Hello everyone, welcome back to Ampnix. Ever wondered what tools the pros use to build and debug electronics? Whether you are fixing a circuit, designing a PCB or just geeking out over a hardware. You need the right gears. Today I am breaking down the must have tools in your lab. So let's get started. Right, so we have categorized these hardware tools on the basis of their application. We have measurement and debugging tools, shouldering and rework, assembly and prototyping, power and connectivity and last bonus tools for advanced work. We will check it out one by one. Measurement and debugging tool. Number one, digital multimeter. A digital multimeter is a versatile electronic measuring instrument which is used to test and troubleshoot the electrical and electronic circuit. What are the primary function of digital multimeter? To measure the voltage, current, resistance, continuity testing and diode testing. There are some advanced functions also available in the advanced multimeter. Such as capacitance measurement, frequency measurement, temperature sensing. Number 2. LCR meter. An LCR meter is a specialized instrument which is used to measure the inductance, capacitance and resistance of the electronic component. It is especially used for precision testing and development of the product. The primary function of LCR meter is to component test, PCB debugging and repair, tuning and matching the circuit. Number 3. Oscilloscope An oscilloscope is an electronic test instrument that displays the changing of signal voltages over time as a waveform on a screen. It is essential for analyzing the behavior of electronic circuits. The main function of oscilloscope is to visualize the electrical signals, measure the signal properties such as voltage, frequency, period, rise and fall time, pulse width and duty cycle. It is also helpful for troubleshooting the circuit, comparing multiple signals, triggering and capturing the signal, decoding communication protocols. Number 4. Logic Analyzer a logic analyzer is an electronic instrument which is used to capture and analyze the multiple digital signals simultaneously. The primary function of logic analyzer is to help us for debugging and monitoring the digital communication protocols such as I2C, SPI, UART and CAN by showing the timing and the logic state of the digital signals. Most of the time we hardware engineer used to work with firmware engineers at that time this device is going to save our life in debugging the communication protocols. Number 5 Function Generator A function generator is a device that produces various electrical waveforms such as sine wave, square wave, triangular and pulse at different frequencies. The primary application of this function generator is to inject the signals into the circuit for testing and analysis for commonly used checking amplifier response simulating sensor signals or testing filters and component shouldering and rework number one iron rework station or hot plate why i keep three pictures in one slide because the primary goal of all three tools is same all right so we have soldering iron. A soldering iron is a hand tool that heats up and it is used to melt the shoulder allowing it to flow into the joints between electronic component and PCB pads. The function of soldering iron is very simple to assemble the electronic circuits by soldering wire components and connectors securely in a place. While a rework station is an advanced tool often combining hot air and soldering function used for repairing, removing or replacing the surface mount components on a PCB. The primary function of rework station it allows to precise heating and removal of SMG component without damaging the board ideal for circuit repairs or upgrades. Hot plate. A hot plate is a flat electrically heated surface used to evenly heat PCBs especially for surface mounting, soldering and reflow process. The primary function of hot flow is to help us preheating and reflowing solder paste particularly used 
when soldering multiple SMD component at a one. Mainly for assembling the SMD component at a time hot plate is very useful. And for repairing rework station is very helpful. For assembling the through hole component, soldering iron is very helpful. Number two, wick and desoldering pump. A desoldering wick is braided copper wire used to absorb and remove unwanted shoulder from joint. Primary function of copper wick placed over the shoulder and heated with soldering iron, it wicks away the molten shoulder, making it easier to remove the component or clean up excess shoulder. Along with wick, we have desoldering pump also or we used to call it shoulder sucker. A soldering pump is a spring loaded suction tool which is used to suck up the molten shoulder from a joint. The primary function of desoldering pump is after heating the shoulder, the pump is triggered to quickly pull the liquid shoulder away, aiding in the component removal of removal and cleanup. Assembly and prototyping. Number one, PCB holder or helping hand. A PCB holder or helping hand is a tool with adjustable arms and clips designed to hold the circuit boards or component in a place during soldering or inspection. The function of this PCB holder, it provides us stability and hands-free support allowing you to work more precisely especially when you are soldering small or delicate parts. Number two, general hardware tools. So in general hardware tools, basically we required some a set of tweezers, uh, screwdrivers, pilers, nose pilers, etc. Power supply. Number one, lab bench power supply. A lab bench power supply is basically a programmable device that provides adjustable regulated DC voltage and current for powering up our electronic circuit during testing and development. The function of lab bench power supply is very simple. It basically provides us clean and controlled power for prototypes or modules and it lets us limit the current to prevent the damage and essential for safety testing different voltage levels during development of the product. Bonus tools for advanced work. Number one, thermal camera. Thermal camera is an imaging device that detects the infrared heat radiation and displays temperature differences as a color-coded thermal image. We hardware engineer use it for identifying overheating of the components, detecting short circuit or power hungry areas, verifying thermal management of the circuit and enclosures. Then we have EMI Debug Probe. An EMI or Electromagnetic Interference Debug Probe is a diagnostic tool used to detect and measure the unwanted electromagnetic emission from a circuit or a product. EMI debug probe help us for pinpoint source of EMI in design, troubleshoot EMI failures, verifying shielding, effectiveness and grounding. It is commonly used with a spectrum analyzer to meet the EMC compatibility standards during development it's your starter pack with just these tools you are ready to prototype test and bring your electronic ideas to life want to know what tools to upgrade next hit like and stay tuned